entertainments. I feel like people are just caping really at this point. Because even if you watch some of his pods, I feel like the vast majority of the women calling in are like trolling anyway. Like they not taking it serious. There are a few that are like really serious that are going in, but from the ones I've seen, like you can tell the girls in on it. She's like, well, yeah, like she's trying not to laugh. Like he's saying wild stuff to them and they trying to I like, think they be dead serious with what they want, bro. Just like I'm about to make me mad. So we I watched this video today. <laughs> I know about Fist of I watched this video today where this lady is on this thing and she's blaming racism for uh black specifically black women being overweight. So this other lady gets up and she's like, ah oh, yeah, uh as a black woman, you born with stress automatically, and then both my parents died, and I had to go to the repast, and then racism causes stress, and the diets don't work the same for black people. They do for white. Oh, I'm like, come on, bro. Like mm. this, I don't think that they playing. I think it's a real like, it ain't real. Man, it's crazy. Look, I think with that, bad. it's. I definitely do think racism plays into stats with black folks as far as like blood. You know, high blood pressure and all that kind of stuff. Because there's places where there's no grocery stores. There's only like carry out. They weren't talking about that. Wait, they weren't talking about food deserts. They were talking about personal life stress and racism affecting. They weren't talking about. They weren't talking about food deserts. They weren't talking about the quality of food. They weren't talking about Chinese stores and and liquor stores hitting the community. No, they were uh-huh. talking about straight racism mm-hmm. hitting. And those are parts of racism. I'm not saying that they. Uh-huh. Aren't. But they were talking about the physical effects of racism were making them fat. Oh, and I'm talking about these were some big greasy motherfuckers, man. God damn. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I'm a- and I've been <laughs> fat my whole life. I done, I done came down, got skinny for a little minute, came back up. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I'm not you the diet work. If you if you eat less and you exercise more, you lose mm-hmm. weight. Racism don't stop you from being small. Okay, okay. I'm I'm gonna throw them some a little small bit of cape. And it's only the minuscule amount. It, it ain't a lot. Because you're right. You, you're 100% right. That the diet formula is very easy. It's it don't matter easy. what skin, complexion. I, I agree. It's hard I to do, say, but the formula is easy. It's hard to do, but yeah, the formula yeah, yes. is easy. Yeah. I will give a little bit of cake because we do know that added stress makes it harder to lose weight. That is a known Cortisol. thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a known thing. That we can't argue this. Then. We know the extra stress they've known, it makes it your body actually retains weight because it's stress. That's a known thing that happens to your body. I'm not saying because of racism. I'm saying that all stress can do it. So if they're trying to say that racism is causing them, making it harder for them to lose weight, I would say I'm with you. But I'm with you when you say racism ain't causing them to be fat. Racism ain't make them put the KFC in their mouth. Like, yeah, ain't, ain't nobody say, hey, hey, you nigga, you like chicken. Eat this chicken. And you was like, well, I'm racist. It's racism, and they got you. can't like nah. Because <laughs> if the racism really got you, you'd with the Popeyes anyway. So all I'm saying is, I agree with you. All I'm saying is, if, if any point of theirs was that stress makes them retain weight, that is a known like medical thing that I will agree with. Okay. But right. other than that, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with. I you. have a question. So <laughs> yeah. what is what is arguably the number one cure or remedy for stress and depression? Once again, we're not arguing with you. That we know you're right. I'm we, just we asking. Agree with you. I'm just, so what's what's the answer? Exercise, exercise, and exercise. Goddamn, ex- <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to put in the clip from <laughs> um, Norbit. You want to be uh... stress free? Get, you, get your big ass out in the goddamn track and walk around. Or something. <laughs> Deal with it. You got to put in the fuck? nutty professor training montage where he was going. To... <laughs> fuck, man? Uh, yeah, yeah, again, I'm with you. You that, just want to be big. You just want to be big. Like this time around, when I was smaller, I said, I don't like the way my body looks. The skin looks fucked up. I'm going to get big. I'm just going to eat and get bigger because it looks, it don't right. look as bad, whatever. It was a dumb decision, but I did it. Like, I, just be real with yourself. Like, you don't, it's hard to eat lettuce and drink water and go to bed hungry and get up and exercise. That shit is yeah. hard. Yeah. It's hard. It's easier to eat some KFC, drink a beer, drink some Kool-Aid, eat some ice cream and cake, and then and watch goddamn Sisters of, Sisters of Loneliness or <laughs> My 600 Pound Life or whatever it is that you want to watch on TV and chill. It's hard, but don't start talking about oh, because I'm black, I can't lose. Come on, bro. <laughs> I, and I would even understand if it was like, okay, we talking about like being my stand, like because I was chasing my being my shit, and it was like, it's oh, no it's way I'm gonna be, impossible. it's no yeah. way I'm gonna be 153 pounds. It's just not gonna happen. If you yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. 20 or 30 pounds of weight, and it's like, and anyway, this is the good when they think of well, that's not the 
the the the issue right now. If you're talking about a little bit of weight like that, okay, yeah, I'll give it to you. I understand. Like certain shit happens. The the difference between how black people's bodies are built or just different people. Not it don't even have to do with color. Just mm -hmm. different ethnic groups mm -hmm. and different body types, the way they digest food, whatever. So you're talking about fit. These motherfuckers was like four hundred, four fit, like <laughs> just fat all in the neck area, and shit, just biscuits all up in here, gravy and, they wanted, and shit. And, like, and they wanted on, a high quality. They wanted a high quality man. man you, you you got shoes on, you fucking your feet plumping <laughs> over the top of this. Come on, dog, that ain't racism, G. That's all Popeyes and shit. <laughs> yeah, you pop That's the top on the, on the red cinnamon. lobster biscuits, man. Did they all? Did they all want to have value, man, too? I don't know what they 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 the discussion didn't, didn't talk about that. It, you it, might it, have one. Look, <laughs> that come on, bro. <laughs> Look, before we get canceled, let's because <laughs> you know they be on Facebook. They're gonna come for us. <laughs> that oh was popping goodness. off through their shoes. God damn. <laughs> Trying to escape, God. man. You know that's the thing, man. I used to have a crazy lean in my shoes, and I was, I was like, <laughs> man, my shoes was lean, men. They, they was holding on. <laughs> well, you had an Air Force One and a half. <laughs> yeah, I had all that. <laughs> yeah. God, we... Talk about mm, fat mm, feet mm. all over top of the size of the chucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I ain't messing with you, man. Chris, what's the next topic, <laughs> man? Next this, this is a head cannon production. Circus duction.